um welcome so today we are i'm going to show you how i uh, bake my chicken i like to bake my chicken because i feel like it's it's like less harmful per se than deep frying because i really love deep fried chicken but i am learning on how to um to bake my chicken and control the fat intake you guys might know me from our previous videos i used to be mostly behind the camera and i don't know if you guys remember this ring but i mostly used to be like behind the camera but i'm trying to do videos it's not easy it's scary actually but i'm actually trying to do videos so i've got my chicken i've got my spices i've got my chutney i've got my papers which i'm going to put at the last minute because i like eating my papers raw because of that um crunchy feeling um then i have my baking tray lined up and i have this bowl where i'll mix and i also have my oil ready i have my coriander as well so this chicken um i bought it it's what we call broiler it's a soft chicken and um so this one it's already i've washed it it's already clean so i just want to cut it into so that the spice can go into like every every corner so that when i'm eating it i'm not i'm not like missing a spice somewhere so that's that so we're gonna cut the second piece Just some fine lines to get in the spice. Okay. So I think that's that. So they both have um, fine lines and everything. So I will start by putting them in this bowl. So while in this bowl okay i have so many spices here at this moment so this is garlic paste i love my food with a lot of garlic so i bought garlic paste so here we have some um we have ginger we have some chili powder we have some um we have a lot basically we have jack style seasoning we have chicken seasoning we have pepper we have um pilau masala as well so i really like to play around with my spices and see the outcome of it as well so um so we are gonna just put this in all of it and i'm gonna use my my hands to mix it i've cleaned my hands i've washed my hands they're clean plus i'm the only one who's eating it so i'm just gonna you know mix it up ensure that the spice goes into every corner so um most of the time i'm used to cooking fried chicken whereby you know i'll get my my all my all-purpose flour you know add some water to eat or milk to eat or eggs to eat and you know put my spices in there dip my chicken in there and deep fry my chicken but i want to try a new style right now um because i've eaten so much fried chicken since i came here and i feel like mm -mm, i'm not going the right path so basically when i put most of these spices together i don't add any um salt because most of these spices are salty so that's why i don't add a lot of salt in it extra extra salt so i'm just gonna make sure that it goes all the way in every place i have you know cut that there's a spice inside so there we go So you guys are gonna definitely gonna be seeing you know more videos of me trying different recipes here and there you know i moved to a new place um to like a new beginning a new country so i'm gonna be trying to you know bring you guys different things here and there so that you guys can see it hasn't been easy coping with um 
the dads here because i had to look for you know african shops gladly i did find an african shop that actually also sells like uh, maize meal which we call ugali back at home and i was really so happy so because and i bought it and, and since then i have been using the maize meal to make my ugali and it pretty much tastes the same actually and and that like it was, it was one of the best things ever i found kenyeji chicken i mean i found i haven't really found a place that sells pork and i love pork so i'm gonna look for a place that sells pork as well but um i think all my main ingredients i have found so my chicken is there it i believe it is now uh like fully soaked so i'm gonna get some oil guys and i'm gonna just sprinkle this thing with oil let me wash my hands first get some oil sprinkle it with oil then um i'm gonna come back guys 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 so this is where we are at so guys if you're adventurous like me i mean you can be you know you can be playing around with your spices i mean it's interesting how all the spices come together and bring a whole new you know different taste to, towards something and it and it really really just um makes something taste really nice so you guys i mean if you're adventurous like me as i said you could um use your spices you know differently add different spices to different stuff and different touch so basically what i've done is i've just put a little bit of oil and i'm trying to smear that oil all over and so i'll bring my tray close and i'll put my chicken in okay guys so this is where we are at this is how it looks like when it's raw and then cooked and then once it it cooks guys you know it's gonna give us that you know good flavor it's gonna the skin is gonna be um the skin is gonna be cr a bit crispy and all that just my favorite i love crispy chicken i mean and how what a way to what a better way to eat it than when it is crispy and it is actually baked guys so um so this is it let me i want to add the chutney as you guys are seeing i want to add the chutney i want to add the coriander then i'm gonna put it in the oven guys and like i said the bell peppers go in the last minute because i want that crunchy feeling as i um eat so let me wash my hands guys put some coriander put some chutney in there then we can go from there then i'm also going to you know do some black pepper in it and then we're gonna see how so it guys as i said um we've got some nice jack style seasoning we've got some pilau masala in it we've got some chicken seasoning we've got um the caribbean style curry powder i love that curry powder let me just show you what i used this is one of the best curry powders i've ever used because um it gets your food so yellow the way turmeric does and it has a really nice taste to it and um also we've got the hot and spicy seasoning so what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to add a bit of um black pepper this and i'm just going to be rolling and crushing it onto the chicken on the top for that flavorful crust there we go and then i'm also gonna add a bit of chutney so this is the part i like because this it's um caramelized onions and they're usually really sweet but the twist to it is that for this sweet chutney together with the salty and the spicy chicken usually usually makes a good um taste and a good feel to the chicken and i just like to put it on top and into the cuts that i made i mean once you taste this i mean it's usually so good so good i love how it tastes after i mean the the the, the, the two 
different tastes of of salty saltness and um of sour sorry my english words are running away from me the the, the beauty of the the two the two combined together just it's just out of this world i mean so some chutney added then as i said i wanted to also add my um some of my coriander this has come i had frozen it so it is what i'm currently adding onto the top So that is the chicken and we are going to be putting it in the oven in a few. So there it is. We've got the spicy seasoning, we've got the curry powder, we've got the pilau masala, the jack style seasoning, the black pepper, crush, the chutney. We've got a bit of oil as well. We've got the chicken seasoning. So we've got all types of seasoning here. We've got also the garlic paste. Garlic paste, guys, don't forget. You can, if, if you don't have the already made garlic paste, it's, it's something that you can make at home. And it is something that, especially when you make garlic paste mixed with um, soy sauce, tastes so good, guys. I'm, in one of my videos, I'm going to make sure I show you guys how to do the how to um make the the what is it called sorry the garlic uh garlic paste using soy sauce it just really nice you can you can actually keep it and store it in the freezer for future use that's the way you store um tomato paste so guys this is going into the oven so let's go guys hey guys so i got my oven here now it's already heated up to about 200 degrees and it is hot as ever and once i open it and uh, there's hot air coming out i know it's heated up so i'm going to put my chicken up there and then we're gonna see how it's gonna go so that's it so in the meantime um as i as we are waiting for the chicken to really you know come out i'm gonna make um a banana and avocado smoothie to go with it so that um we can have a really good lunch yeah all right guys so on to the avocado smoothie hey guys hey guys so on to the smoothie so i have this blender it's like a mini blender that came with so many parts to eat it came with well one of these um that you can use as a cup um here is the lid and you just once you're done blending you know you can use it to drink whatever smooth you're drinking sorry for that and then this is the blender it also has the other grinder that um grinds um nuts so it came with so many parts this is the grinder for the nuts it came with so many uh, so many parts i have this one as well which this the it screws and 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 talks into um every so basically um i got it at ebay for about um i don't really remember but i got it at ebay and um it is a blender that has served me for quite a while now and i really like it because it blends so fast so i have my avocado here as you can see i have my bananas in this country it has been so hard to find like you find bananas yes but whatever kind of bananas you find are like you know bananas that are ripe that when you but still when you eat them you feel like they aren't all the way there so now when the banana is this way starting to have this um black dots is now when you know actually it's really like soft to eat and probably in the next two days i won't be able to eat this banana because it will be throughout black so i've got to finish them today then I've also got my um, yogurt. This is a uh, natural yogurt. So I do like this particular type of yogurt because it's like really, really um, thick. And it is natural yogurt. 
so and it keeps me full for a very very long time and guys i can tell you this is gonna be an awesome meal because i've already got my um chicken going i've got my my yogurt my fruits and and my my avocado my banana and i want to blend them together and we're just gonna add a little bit of um sugar because the natural yogurt is definitely going to um overpower the taste of this so we're gonna add a little bit of sugar into it so um but i'll definitely try and look for an, an alternative for sugar so i'm gonna start by um putting the avocado into the into the mini blender if i can call it that So this is definitely gonna be a really um thick kind of shake because and it's a shake that you can also as well have as a meal so guys this is as well what i was telling you see by the time the banana gets too soft you you know that it's ready to eat but then again it's spoiling at the same time oops because back at home i remember you could find uh, bananas really easily so when i came to this place it was kind of hard to actually get in terms with the food that they eat because before i found the african shop i would buy everything in the supermarket and it was quite tricky because um buying stuff from the supermarket and they expire like you're given you have like bananas and they would tell you that those bananas like expire in like the next four days and you know you want to eat your bananas for the rest of the week and you do not have time to go to the market and all that because of um work and all that maybe sometimes you just want to stay indoors like right now it's kind of the weather is like a bit uh it could be cold at times it could be rainy then it could be you know windy so you want to chill at home in your beddings because it's kind of cold and then you find you want to snack on something like a banana and you don't have a banana near you you have to go get a banana from somewhere so it was kind of hard up until um i met a friend who showed me the african shop and since then i have been going to that african shop to get my stuff i was also there today i had gone to get some things for dinner and it's it's quite amazing how that shop has catered for the africans um in this country so we are just gonna get on with the blending so you can see how fast it blends just want to shake it a bit so that the ones in the top can come down so sometimes i do take this smoothies early in the morning you know early in the morning when you cannot swallow anything basically it happens to me early in the morning sometimes i find i am not able to swallow some stuff because i think it's just early in the morning and all that so so i'm, I'm just gonna add the rest of my bananas as well and actually the yogurt hasn't overpowered the taste of the of the smoothie it actually it is really nice i'm just resisting the attempts to add sugar so i will not add sugar so i'll add more yogurt see how thick that's all, that's one thing i like about yogurt oh i can already smell the chicken i mean guys it it smells so good it smells so nice and i mean 
let me finish with this then we're gonna check the check out the progress so that whatever is in the bottom comes to the top good star good star Guys, you can see how thick this is. So this is basically sometimes what I have for breakfast. I mean, guys, even parents who you know are trying to win your children and everything, this is like one of the best, um, you know, things that your child can have as part of winning because it's fruit, and these fruits are good in potassium, especially bananas. They are good in fiber. You know, fruits are good in fiber. They're gonna boost the child's immunity and everything. So basically, this is one of the things, and this definitely keep your child full. I mean, look, if it keeps me full, it can definitely keep the baby full because it's quite thick, it's quite heavy, it is all natural. You don't have any added ingredients to it because it's bananas, you know, um, avocado, and natural yogurt. Um, I know kids love yogurt, and yogurt keeps someone full, and it's you know good in protein high in calcium level those are those are the things that the child needs you know when they are winning so basically this is this is a plus honestly this is a plus so i'm gonna keep this aside because it's gonna be like my drink so there we are very interesting very nice I mean i like i like this blender i really like this and i like the fact that it's offered to come with this cup i mean because i most of the time when i blend something in the morning i usually just put it in this my cup and head on to work like and i walk with it like this then i would insert a straw and drink from the straw or whatever so guys 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 um let's see how the chicken is going Yeah, so we are there and I want to see how this chicken is um, doing I'm just gonna pull this out a bit I mean guys look at what we are having so we're gonna give it a bit more time but it is already um, smelling really nice it's already you know looking nice so we're gonna give it a bit more time and see yeah okay we're gonna be back hey, hey so we are here i wanna cut my bell peppers because i'm smelling the chicken and it already um smells like it is ready so i wanna cut um my bell peppers oh, let me get a plate so most of the time i like eating these bell peppers because they're really sweet and I felt like when I cook them, they lose their sweetness. So I like to eat them raw. And I think that I want to eat them raw. I don't want to, um, you know, cook them because I won't like. I won't like it when they get soft. It will taste really bad. So I like to eat them just when they are crunchy like that. So there's a soggy part here that I don't want to cut because I know I'm not going to eat anything so good.
things are all they give you like um a burst of you know uh freshness into your mouth which i really love so that's why i prefer eating them raw so i usually carry them to work actually and my workmates are asking me why are you eating raw bell peppers and i'm like that's like what i like i mean these bell peppers are really nice raw and they're easy to eat when raw and they give that you know burst of freshness in your mouth then especially when if, if it is like cold from your refrigerator um it feels really nice to eat them so that's why i like eating them so this is a lot so i'm definitely gonna you know put some in the fridge eat a bit right now then eat a bit later so we're just um, waiting on the chicken and once it's ready guys i'm gonna show you the outcome it's something actually that people can you know make and eat it's i think it is um also like healthy you can eat it every day because you're not using like a lot of oil or, any, or anything and it's it's quite healthy because i think because it's actually it's been baked so yeah so those are my bell peppers my bell peppers are now ready yeah they go but i'm definitely gonna you know this is a lot <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna you know divide the portion and um eat some now then i'm gonna have others later so guys we are just waiting on the chicken i mean it smells really nice in here and i'm gonna show you guys what we have made yeah yes, guys guys so this has been in here for a while um smelling really nice so i wanna um you know try and see what's been ha oh my i mean guys you can just see what's happening and that is cooked i mean finally so i'm just gonna close this because it has so much heat oh guys oh lovely lovely you guys can see it's been cooked through it's looking really nice you know and um this is like something that gets me going i mean i don't know how long it's been there but as long as it's smelling good i know it's coming together so this is basically how it looks and i want to serve a piece I want to serve a piece onto my plate and I want to bring my juice near and I want to you know put some of my you know bell peppers in there because I told you guys I mean this is just purely for freshness I mean it, it tastes so nice it tastes so good I love how the colors are you know coming together and you know looking nice so this is basically what I have managed to cook and um, and make so this is baked chicken guys um, so I really like how it looks basically it looks really nice um, it's got the chutney it's got the nice spices the garlic paste this time i forgot to actually add tomato paste because i love how red it looks when it has tomato paste but this time i forgot to add but it has all the nice spices so you guys if you are um as adventurous as i am with my spices you guys can try out different types of spices i mean so that you can you know get to have this kind of outcome and this is my so you know what i realized i realized i'm not gonna have this because it's gonna make me full really fast because it's really thick so i'm gonna have this fast 
then i'm gonna have this later but i'm not eating them together but like this is lunch for me always because i am breaking i'm on a fast and i'm breaking the fast what time is it now um i don't know what time is it let me just check so um it's about 15 45 i should have broken my fast at one so i have managed till two hours i mean i'm really hungry because looking at this i just want to devour it right now but guys that has been it for today i mean i'm, I'm grateful for you guys you know uh following the channel liking and subscribing you know calling your friends to come and check out what we do it's a lifestyle and um health tips channel whereby you get to learn about you know making healthy digestive juices uh, making healthy meals um making your household items such as cleaning items such as jig um cooking as well is now in it because i'm gonna be doing most of it cooking i'm also gonna be you know moving around this new area and trying to see what is what here and there because i also wanna um, show you guys what's happening with me as well so anytime i go shopping and, and i'm picking something i want to show you guys what's happening with me um it, it's quite an interesting place to be in um i will tell you guys in due time where i am but it is an interesting place and i have just been settling for since i came in it's been uh, a while of settling because there's the culture shock there's the currency shock there's the there's a lot there's a lot and i have been settling basically let me just say i have been settling in so once i am fully settled and i'm gonna be free you know, to do all these videos with you guys show you guys about this place that i mean it's a place that i do like so far because i do like being in new places you know exploring the environment getting to know new people um i'm also in due time gonna show you guys where i work and i mean i think that that's it for today i mean i'm, I'm so grateful for the support you guys um i have a cousin you know back at home who's also filming on the other side and she is the one who mostly makes the health juices and the fabric softeners and the jig and she's really good at what she does guys i mean this is super super healthy recipes in terms of food in terms of juices in terms of you know basically in general health and plus household items decorative items creative arts i mean guys you've got to follow such you you know you learn all these things i mean most of the times i you know it, it gets tedious you know buying things from times from the market from the supermarket and things are so expensive you guys can just you know buy these ingredients and do these things yourself i mean this chicken i bet would taste as good as you know fried chicken that you'd be that you'd buy and if you can do this like home then you're saving yourself because you don't know what oil these guys use you don't know if they're using oil that was there from monday or from sunday so this is actually the best because you're cooking for yourself so you know what you're eating anyway basically guys i'm done with the rant but thank you guys so much for the support thank you for following thank you for subscribing we are definitely looking forward to having more people follow the channel so that they can learn more otherwise definitely you're gonna be seeing more of this i'm gonna try to juggle between work and and doing this during my off days and you're gonna see more of this definitely i'm gonna be showing you guys we are gonna be actually let me just say we are gonna be exploring the country together so thank you guys and see you on the next one bye bye